even if there was no books, tell you what he used to do. Take his boiled potatoes and take at every spot before he ate it. And if there was a red splout on Nick, he'd scrape it off. Finally quit about the food. Uh, that's the kind of guy why he was lean. He used to dress up on Sundays even if he was going to places. Who put on a necktie if he'd come in and sit in the bunkhouse? I ain't so sure. What'd you say he quit for? Why? Well, he just quit the way I got with him. He says it was the food. Didn't give no other reason. Just says, give me my time one night the way any guy would. Well, if there's any graybacks in this bed, you're gonna hear from me. Well, uh, I guess the boss will be coming out any minute to write your name to Oh, he was sure bummed you wasn't here to go out this morning. Come right in when we was all eating breakfast and says, where the hell's have you been? Oh, and he give the stable buck hell too, the stable buck's a nigger. Nigger, huh? Yes, yeah, sir, hell of a nice fella. Got a, a crooked back where a horse kicked him. <laughs> well, the boss gives him hell when he's mad, but the stable buck don't give a damn about that. What kind of guy's the boss? Well, he's a pretty nice fella, pretty nice. He gets mad sometimes, but tell you what he done. On Christmas, brung a whole gallon of whiskey right in here and says, drink out it, boys, Christmas come but once a year. <laughs> the hell he did, a whole gallon? <laughs> yes, sir, Jesus, we had fun that night. They let the nigga come in, you know. Well, sir, a little skinner named uh, Smitty. Took after the nigga, done pretty good, too. <laughs> the guys wouldn't let him use his feet. So the nigga got him. If he could have used his feet, Smitty said he would have killed the nigga. Uh, uh, if he could have used his feet, he the nigga got a pretty back. Boss, the owner? No, nah, superintendent. A big land company. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Uh, now, come right in. Drink out it, boy. He said over there. He, he did. Uh, that boy's just coming. I wrote Murray and Bray, and I wanted two men this morning. You got your work slips? Here they are. I see it wasn't Murray and Bray's fault. It says right here on the slip used to be up for work this morning. The bus driver gave us a bum steer. We had to walk 10 miles. That bus driver says we here when we wasn't. We couldn't tell Well, that sounds great. Team short, two fuckers. Won't do any good now, so after dinner, you'll get lost. What's your name? I'm George Nolan. George Nolan? What's yours? Oh, his name's Lane Small. <laughs> Where you boys been working? Up around Weed. You too? Oh yeah, him too. Hey. You're a big fella, ain't you? Yeah, he's a damn good worker, too. Not much of a talker, though, is he? No, he ain't, but he's a damn good worker. He's strong as a bull. I'm strong as a bull. You are, huh? What can you do? Well, he can do anything. Well, what can you do? Anything you tell him to. Drive a cultivator. Anything you tell him. Just give it a try. Why don't you let him out there? <laughs> What's he laughing about? Uh, he laughs when he gets excited. Yeah? He has a damn good worker, though. No, I ain't saying he's bright, because he ain't. He's a damn good worker. Say, what you selling? Huh? I said what stake you got in this guy? Taking his pay away from him? No, of course I ain't. Well, I've never seen one guy take so much trouble from another guy. Like no percentages. Oh, he's my... He's my cousin. He got kicked in the head by a horse when he was a kid. He's all right, just ain't bright. God knows you don't need friends to fuck barley bags. Don't you try to pull nothing over, Millie. I got my eye on you. Why'd you quit at weed? The job was done. What kind of job? While well, we was digging a cesspool. All right, don't you talk enough and over. I've seen wise guys before. You can't get away with nothing. Well, great teams after dinner. They're all fucking barley with thrashing machines. Well, the slim team. Slim? Yeah, slim. I'll see you in my Been on the road, bum? We was three days in Frisco, looking at the board. Didn't go to no home. Three clubs, I suppose. We was looking for a job. Great camera. You got a little jack, Frisco. We didn't have no jack, nothing like that. 
Go! Green teams have to dinner. My hands work hard, they get pie. And when they vote, they bounce down the road and they can't. Just ask anybody about me. You wasn't gonna say nothing. You was just gonna stand there and not say nothing. You goddamn near lost us a job. Don't I forgot, George? Forgot, you always forget. Now he's gonna have his eye on us. Now we gotta be careful and not make no slips. You keep your goddamn mouth shut after this. George, he talked like he was a nice guy at the end. When... Well, he's the boss, ain't he? You can't never tell whether you're talking to a nice guy or the boss. Look, don't have nothing to do with no boss. Except do your work, enjoy your pay. You can't never tell whether you're talking to a nice guy or the boss. Hey, George. Yeah? I wasn't kicked in the head by no horse, was I? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a damn good thing if you was. Save everybody a hell of a lot of trouble. Hey, George, you said I was your cousin, George. <laughs> Well, that was a goddamn lie. <laughs> I'm glad it was, too. Why, hell, if I was a relative of yours, I'd... Hey, what are you doing listening? I wasn't listening. I was just standing in the shade of and scratching my nose. Yeah, I just now finished swapping out the, the wash house. He was poking your big nose in our business. See, I don't like nosy guys. I just couldn't. I ain't interested in nothing you guys are saying. A guy at a ranch who never listens to no he ass questions. Damn right he don't. Not if he wants to stay working long. The hell of an old dog. Oh, yes, sir. I had him ever since he was a pup. Yeah, he was a good sheep dog when he was young. Hey, how'd you like the boss? Well, well he seemed all right. He's a nice fella. You gotta take him right, of course. He's running the place. He don't take no nonsense. What time do we eat? About 30? Yeah. Is he mowing Matt? Uh, he was just here a minute ago, critic. Went over to the, the cook house, I think. I'll try to catch him. You're the new guys my old man was waiting for? Yeah, we just come How's it come you wasn't here this morning? Buster, My old man got to get the grain out. Ever bucked barley? Hell yes. I mean him. Know. Ever bucked barley? Well, sure he has. Let the big guy talk. Suppose you don't want to talk. My quest has got to talk when he spoke to. What the hell are you shoving into this for? Me and him travel together. Oh. So it's that way. <laughs> <laughs> what way? And you won't let the big guy talk. Is that it? He can talk to you if he wants to tell you anything. When we just come in, well, next time, you answer when you spoke to Hey! I didn't say nothing to you. You got cards this hand? I might. Yeah, I'll see you get a chance to ante anyway. 